everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim here, and just last week I was in Washington, D.C. Of course, we're believing that it's the District of Christ, not the District of Columbia. But as we were there, of course, as you've seen in some of my other videos, uh, I was there at the Capitol where there was a march and even some rioting and protesting, and there was so much going on. But I experienced some witchcraft that was there at the White House. So the title of today's message is called Witchcraft in the White House because there's obviously different powers and different forces that are at work at the White House and in D.C. We already know uh, that the Washington Monument and so many of the buildings have different Freemason Masonic signs and symbols. So I really believe that D.C. and even many different places in the United States all around the world They've, in a sense, been dedicated by evil spirits. But we need to rededicate it and take it back unto the Lord Jesus Christ. There's such a thing as lands, places, properties, even peoples, human beings, being dedicated unto the devil, unto the enemy. But we declare and we decree that Washington, D.C. and the White House and the Capitol it is dedicated unto the Lord Jesus Christ. As I was there in D.C., I experienced witchcraft in the White House, and the Lord immediately showed me a vision of many different people in the White House surrounding President Trump. And as different people laid their hands on President Trump, as they were praying, or as they were surrounding him, there were different people who were wolves in sheep's clothing. They acted like they were for the president. They acted like they were for righteousness. But in one way, they were acting. They were faking it. These people, uh, they have hidden motives and agendas. And they were releasing different spirits and different powers onto President Trump and in the White House. So I believe God wants to expose and expel. Someone say expel. He wants to expose and expel all witchcraft in the White House. Now the Bible here says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers and against authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. There's principalities that are at work, even as I shared in my last video, that I saw in the clouds in Washington, D.C., that it was so dark and gloomy. And I believe there was weather manipulation taking place and happening. At the same time. However, there's a battle in the spirit. There's something happening where there's a clashing of principalities. There's a clashing of spiritual powers and forces in Washington, D.C. And we need to believe and, be and declare and stand that any witchcraft, any wicked form that is being sent against President Trump and against the Word of God and God's people and the future of this country would be expelled and exposed and exterminated. What is witchcraft, you may ask? Witchcraft is divination, it is sorcery, it is black magic, it is white magic. Witchcraft is idolatry, it is moving in an influence and a force and a power that is through another door and another medium. The Bible says you cannot come to the Father through any other door except Jesus. Jesus says He is the door. Any other entry of power and influence through other doors and mediums that is a medium spirit or otherwise the media that is a form of witchcraft what is witchcraft it is wittiness and craftiness which mean which means wittiness and crafty witchcraft it is a craft of wittiness manipulating and distorting what is true and what is real and what is of God and using it for your own purposes and agendas. That is witchcraft. I believe there are many witches in Washington, D.C. And why in D.C. and why in the White House, you may ask. Well, that's a good question. Because the White House, the Oval Office, D.C. is literally the strongest uh, seat of power in the world. It is literally the most influential, uh, the most powerful seat on earth. And of course, especially in the United States. As America goes, so goes the world. So I saw different people surrounding President Trump in the White House that were witches 
Wiccans, warlocks, wizards. And they were casting spells, word curses. They were spewing out hatred and nonsense to the president and to the future of this administration and this nation. I believe right now God is wanting to expose and expel all witchcraft and any form of witchcraft and divination from the White House. Witchcraft brings confusion. Witchcraft brings destruction. It brings division. It is a form of manipulation. It is a form of idolatry. Witchcraft weakens your soul and your immune system. When I was there, honestly, I dealt with so much torment. And even leaving D.C., I know for about a three days time, I had to process because I know that there was such a high level of warfare in Washington, D.C., especially that day, January 6th, because there was a clashing of principalities and powers. People are trying to kill President Trump. They're trying to assassinate President Trump, and they're trying to assassinate the future of this country. But not on my watch, says the Lord. There is witchcraft in the White House, but now we're believing that the Word of God will be present and that the Holy Spirit would fully cast out any form of darkness. In this time, you see, that all forms of witchcraft will be expelled from the White House in Jesus' name.